Okay guys, welcome to the next episode of the No Time to Explain Remastered Speedrun Guide. In this episode we will take a look at the straight jacket uh, in Asylum world. Um, so yeah, unlike most of the other worlds, you don't do anything here in the beginning. You don't press escape or anything. So you just wait for uh, your cursor to arrive before you try to, to restart the level. You wait, wait, wait. Then move closer to the right and uh, slingshot your way uh, into the portal. Um, getting used to the slingshot effect is, is quite weird because unlike the laser gun, you cannot move the cursor further away than this um, radius up compared to your character. Um, so the way the cursor moves with your character can get kind of... Uh, counterintuitive um, in some places especially when it's further away um, it's a little hard to show but right now the cursor is like if, if we do it down here right now the cursor is like around here so if I try to move it back towards my character it takes a little while before it, uh, it, it actually goes into in between this like radius of the character uh, so I start moving now and there it goes in. Um, so, like you can see, okay, as soon as you see the uh, the cursor start moving up and down, that's when I'm starting to move um, move the cursor back into place. So it's, it's kind of hovering out here, but being invisible, which can very much confuse some people. Um, so now, and there it goes. Um, which also means that the same amount that you move it up, if you have it out here, it, it, it moves up slower around um, compared to, to if you have it in here, you can move it much faster. Like, uh, yeah, it's a little, a little hard to explain, but I hope, hope that gives a, a good uh, visual of how, uh, how to do it. Uh, for the first level, very introductory to this whole thing, but a, a good playground of, uh, of getting used to the slingshot kind of uh, deal I would uh, probably recommend practicing just hovering like this and um, if you can try and hover between like two of these small squares like if you have this big square here and just try and hover um, from side to side so stabilize yourself within one of these Quite hard. I'm not very good at it myself. And then you can actually use the uh, arrow keys to move side to side. It's a very slow way of doing it, but it's it's good practice um, and can be useful in in later levels. Um, for this first one, you uh, just go in between here. A common mistake is either hitting uh, this part here, over here, or all the way up here. Um, because you get too eager in getting through, or you get too hesitant in getting through. Um, but yeah, just take it slow the first couple of times, get used to the timing of, of things, and, uh, and get through. Uh, for this level, I usually try to hit the roof up here. Uh, it's a little hard to not be able to show properly, but uh, usually actually aim for the roof up there. Uh, if we try to restart here, you can just go like that and uh, and into the portal because that part is, is quite safe to hit. Uh, you can do the slow version of, of just like doing the, the slow hover, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I like to do. Uh, this one is, is the first good test of the hover. Slowing, slowing yourself down, going from side to side. Small uh, clicks all the time. Go through here. Uh, there is a faster method where you just swing through and uh, and go 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 fast. Uh, and this is probably the hardest level in uh, in all of the uh, insanity or straitjacket world, um, and a very good place of getting good at at this uh, at this technique. Because as you can see, there's only just slightly bit more than what I talked about before uh, with the to um, two square wide gap here so something like this 
and uh, they actually extend quite a bit further out than what you would think. So it's it's the the white, uh, the, the the like, it probably extends around to here. Um, these electrical fields, so you you can't get too close to to the thing, um, and the, the gap is quite quite small here. Um, but yeah, get used to uh, to this technique here. Try to go a little bit diagonal through here. Uh, we'll help you a little bit and uh, into the portal. It's a good level to practice a lot and make sure to, to go back and forth through the gap a few times. If you get too close to the portal, be quick to hit the R button to reset the level. Uh, that's what I normally do like here, that resets the level. And you can actually do it if you're fast enough at reacting. You can actually uh, reset while it is transitioning in the portal. Um, for uh, for the next couple of levels, uh, we have this blue mesh where we can't click. Uh, but I think it's an oversight from the devel developer's um, view because you can you can actually click in the wall. Uh, so most of the time these are not too big of a deal. Uh, what I like to do is go for for this corner here. Let's uh, restart here. Go around this corner. Um, and actually hit the wall here and then uh, click up on the uh, top wall uh, or the roof that uh, the lower roof um, for for my next slingshot so oops <laughs> something like this and then just uh, go like that with the uh, with the hover into the portal uh, here we have somewhat same deal all of this doesn't really matter click just below here to gain some height and then we can hover all the way over This one is uh, fairly simple as well. You can actually sling your shot yourself all the way up here. And then uh, if you just walk off like that, you will hit this. So walk off, hold back a little bit. If you uh, look at the uh, keys over here, you can see I, I'm, I'm, I'm walking uh, to the right here. And then as soon as I leave the, the, the ledge, a quick tap to the left, or maybe just uh, don't, don't walk right all the time, something like that. It's also a possibility. Um, yeah, and then into the portal. And uh, here I usually just try to hover all over all of it or go fast all over it. Uh, whoops, not what I wanted to do. So something like that. Did I reset? Yes, I reset in time. Uh, so something like that. You can obviously just go the uh, slow route like this. Uh, not too big of a deal. And. Uh, go into the portal here um, but yeah the fastest way definitely go up here and then you can utilize this entire wall space over here to, to just go into the portal and uh, for the final level go up over and land here wait for yourself to come in and uh, yeah just wait for everything to happen and skip the cutscene with uh, escape as quickly as possible and uh, yeah that is uh, the straight jacket asylum world uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.